I like to argue that Islam is really just a pre-Reformation sect. It's it's one of those sects that warred against Catholicism back in the in the day in the early early well it, back in the seventh century it began. But what did Islam? You know what what was it founded on? What was it founded on? Islam was founded on iconoclasm, the rejection of icons, of Christian icons. Uh, it was founded on anti-Trinitarianism. It was founded on the rejection of the Eucharist. It was founded on the hatred for Catholic priests. That's why, for example, you'll read in the, the ninth chapter of the Quran, Surah 9. And Surah, Surah 9 is a... Uh, is a chapter of the Quran that everyone loves to bring up because it says, you know, uh, something like slay the unbelievers and instill fear the enemies of, of Allah or something like that. But what they never really quote is the is what it says before that. What it says before that is the Catholics worship their priests, the Jews worship their rabbis. And so right on there is a deliberate targeting of Catholic priests, a deliberate, a deliberate targeting of, of Catholicism. Umar ibn Khattab. Um, even if you... Uh, what? Umar ibn Khattab and the uh, Tansir. Yes, when the, when the Muslims invaded Syria, when the Arabs invaded Syria, they said that you will find monks uh, who, are, who are good people, don't kill, them, don't kill those monks. But then he says the that if you find monks that have tonsors, you kill those monks. And what was the distinction? The heretical monks were to be spared. The Catholic monks were to be slaughtered in the Arab invasion of Syria. So again, there was this deliberate targeting of, of, of Catholics. Um, also, uh, if, if you look at um, several of the early Christian uh, um Debates with with Muslims. Uh, one of them, oh, I don't remember his name. Goodness, if I remember, if I can remember his name, I would say it drives me crazy that I don't remember. Um, uh, Theodore of of, of Kutba or something like that. He was a saint in Syria. Syria. He was, yeah, he was Dimashk. No, it was um, not John Dimashk. Damascus. No, it was. Um, oh, I, I have to look it up, but. There was a saint who had a debate with Muslims in Iraq, or was it Syria, one of those countries. And if you read that debate, um, if you read that debate, um, it says, uh, the, the Muslim tells the Christian, you know, you Christians, you worship bread. And the Christian then has to explain why the Muslim position is wrong. And so... So, um, so okay. right there in the in in the beginning of Islam, no, that's none of these people. Right there in the beginning of Islam, you have a deliberate target yeah. of Catholicism, because Islam began as a Catholic sect. It began as a Christian sect. Uh, this is why you find in yeah. Islam a fixation on Jerusalem, a fixation on uh, certain biblical sites, a fixation on certain prophets like Moses, because Islam is a heresy, just like Mormonism is a heresy. And so in those in that heretical set, in all heretical sects, you find one thing in common, and that is anti-Catholicism. If you look at Mormonism, Islam, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Seventh-day Adventists, all of these sects, the Lutherans, the Anglicans, the Calvinists, whatever, they all have, and they all have their differences, right? Oh, this group believes in infant baptism. This group doesn't believe in infant baptism. This group believes that you can breastfeed during the Sunday. So this group says you can't do that. It's an abomination. Well, this group says that it has to be the sprinkling of water. No, it has to be complete immersion <laughs> to water. This group says that if you get married, then you can't. You have to throw rice up in the air. This group says don't throw any rice. That's an abomination. It's idolatry. This group says you can have a Christmas tree. This other group says you can't have a Christmas tree. That's idolatry. You can't do that. Like they all have their own little differences, and they will kill each other over these differences. 
but they all have one thing in common, and that is anti-Catholicism. That is it. Bottom line, end of story. It's anti-Catholicism. So when I look at Jan Hus, oh, and everything, but I know you want to say something. But let me just finish this point because I really want to get this. Out. I really want to get this out of my mind because this is just in my brain right now. The if you look at the Jehovah's Witnesses, if you look at the Mormons, okay, they, all these pro. Okay, hold on, I'm getting way too close to the mouth, the mic here. Maybe, all maybe, of your, these, maybe your brain is overloaded. <laughs> all of these Protestants love to worship several groups. They love to worship the Hussites, the Wycliffeites, and uh, uh, and the uh, uh, Wycliffe. Who's the other guy? Tyndale, Tyndale, Wycliffe, Tyndale. John Hus. Those three guys. And they call these the pre-Reformation reformers. Uh, they call Jan Hus the morning star of the Reformation. So, so he, here's my thing. If you look at all these groups, what do you find? You find a rejection of the Eucharist, rejection of icons, rejection of Catholic authority. Um, and, and then you look at the Albigensians. Protestants will say, oh, the Albigensians, they were really Christians. But you look at the Albigensians, what do you find? You find basically paganism. You find weird ideas about the Eucharist. Um, you find the rejection of the Eucharist, actually. Assisted suicide. Yeah, you find suicide, all sorts of weird things. And people say, well, that's that's a pre-Reformation. Okay, fine. I agree with you. If that's a pre-Reformation Protestant sect, then so is Islam. Islam is a pre-Reformation Protestant sect. And I remember saying this. I, I said that Protestants need to say that Muhammad was one of those pre. He need, they need to say he's the morning star, one of the morning stars of the Reformation, because because he hated the Catholic Church before Luther did. That's why do you think the Muslims wanted to invade Rome? Why do you think? And then you're going to say, hold on. I, I know people are going to say because this is how people argue. If I bring up a specific, people bring a generalization. If I bring up a, general, a generalization, people bring up a specific. This is how people argue. So, you, so people are going to argue with me, and they're going to bring up a generalization. And they're going to – hold on. Somebody just said in the chat, Albigensians were Gnostics. So are Muslims. So are Muslims. Do you know why? So the Gnostics believed that the crucifixion was an illusion. What does it say in the Quran about the crucifixion? It says that the crucifixion never happened, but it appeared so. That's literally what the Gnostics taught, that it only appeared to people in an illusion. So in Islam, you find everything. That's why Hilaire Belloc said that Islam was all the heresies of, of history put together in one piece. And there's even some paganism thrown at it. That's why they worship the Kaaba. You know? They don't say they worship the Kaaba. But they bow down to it. Come on. If they bow down they to it. They claim it takes away their sins. Fine. It, it gives redemption. But still, what was the Kaaba? It was a, it was a black stone that was worshipped by the pagans of Arabia. Now, now, why do you think the Muslim? Now, people are going to generalize it, and they're going to say, well, but Ted, Muslims hate all religions that are not itself. So do Protestants. Yes. So do Protestants. Mm -hmm. So do Protestants. Because when the Muslims invaded India, they'll say, well, when the Muslims invaded India, Ted, they destroyed Hindu statues and, and all this stuff. And so are the are the Muslims deliberately anti-Hindu? Well, no, not really, because in the Quran it never mentions Hinduism. It mentions Catholicism, though. It mentions Christianity deliberately. But to address the other point of you know the fact that Muslims did it, it, it persecute Hindus, well, the English did similar things. When the English invaded India, they said, hey, you can't burn your wives alive anymore. You can't do this anymore. You can't do that anymore. But that doesn't change the fact that the Anglican church was deliberately anti-Catholic. Does that make sense? So, so all of these sects have one thing in common. They were deliberately against Catholicism. They were deliberately against it. So is Islam. And I remember... <laughs> I remember years ago writing an article. I wrote an article saying that Islam is just Protestantism. And I was getting hundreds and hundreds of comments. They all got angry with me. They all said, this is nonsense. I remember, you know, humoring myself by reading the comments 
And somebody said, oh, how dare this person compare Protestantism to Islam? It is. It's a pre-Reformation Protestant sect. It is, bottom line. Didn't Bahira, wasn't Bahira an Asturian monk who educated Muhammad on his cult? An Asturian? Uh, hold on, but they're going to say, they're going to say, but you can't say, why can't we say that? Why? If, if we can say that Albigensians are pre-Reformation Protestants, if we can say that Waldensians are these people, if we can say that the if we can say that Aryans and all these groups of people, there were all these different sects that pop up that popped up. Why can't we say Islam is just one of these sects? But they can say they can say that the Catholic Church is the harlot of Babylon, and nobody should be offended. The fact is that Protestants and Muslims allied together because of one thing. They both hate the Catholic Church. End of story. That's it. That is it. So you could say, well, to the Christians, the Protestants believe in the Trinity. Well, Martin Luther had some pretty messed up ideas about God. And he had some pretty messed up ideas about Jesus. Didn't Martin Luther call God stupid? Didn't Martin Luther say he was inspired when he, by, by the Holy Spirit when, when he was sitting on a toilet? Didn't Martin Luther say that Jesus had sex, sex with Mary Magdalene? That puts Martin Luther literally on the same tier of Joseph Smith. Not even Muhammad would say that. Not even Muhammad would say the sort of blasphemies that Martin Luther did. 